Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shah Abdul. I'm a cybersecurity engineer and a robotic enthusiast. This video I'm going to introduce Cyber PI. This is the Cyber PI. It's very very powerful uh, device that you can use to program anything you like. You need to be very creative. So example we go we are using for robotics embod neo but you can use for any robotics but you need to be very creative and create uh, electronic modules to program this so i'm going to help you to be creative and learn the basic and from the basic to advance the example this cyber pi device you can use for any electronic modules example we can create a multi-factor authentication system that people try to log into the system it will pop up and ask you to press any keys in here to allow access to open any program um, even a security device that home security device so you can use this cyber pi to do so many things so let's uh, start this uh, series and learn from the basics to advance I'm going to use two editors. One is Visual Studio Code Editor, and another one is mBlock Python Editor. So this made by mBlock. So they made this for their uh, mBlock Neo and the programs they want to uh, show you for kids. And this uh, Cyber PI, you can do a lot of things. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you're going to do it. So we're going to use the mBlock. Uh, Python editor that's for official editor and also Visual Studio Code editor that is advanced you can do a lot of things so we will uh, once we start the basic when we go to the advanced you will learn more uh, project that you can be a professional uh, you can show to your kids uh, show to your friends show to your parents so it's going to be a very cool so uh, let's get started with this series before please hit the subscribe button so we don't miss anything thank you okay welcome back to our cyber pi programming with python series today uh, we will be installing python on windows machine and in setting up our developer environment first we going to python uh, their website and we will uh, visit their official website at python.org downloads and we are going to use for windows so if you go to downloads and if you want to have your own OS like Mac OS you can use that and we are going to use for the windows we click windows and after that you can see this is table version and the pre-release version you can always check the date Mm, it's good idea to go with the stable version rather than the pre-release because sometimes it will have bugs and you will have issues but if you are uh, advanced users go for it for the free release and you will get the most up-to-date uh, new uh, features and for me I'm going to use the stable version so what we need to do is you'll find all the latest version python for uh, python for windows and i'm going to use because i have windows 64 bit and i'm going to use the windows 64 bit now you will see um or just take a note the version you're installing so three 10 10 so it says can be used on windows 7 or earlier so windows a7 windows x windows uh, no nt you, if you have those machine you can't use this version so make sure you have um, latest windows it's good to have and we using 3.10 10, 10 you can see the pre-release version 3.12 so I'm going to use the stable version and there have one two three four five download 
Uh, you can see Windows 32 bit, uh, Windows 64 bit embedded package, Windows help file, Windows installer, and uh, Windows 64 bit installer. If you if you click, I mean, if you, without clicking, just drag your mouse, and you will see in the left side in here, uh, in the, all the way down the left side, you will see a highlight. It says AMD 64 EXE, and this is will be without uh, anything, just Python 3.10.10 XE, and you will see the CHM help file. If you go here, embed. So I'm I'm going to use the Windows installer version. So I'm going to click 64 bit. So once a download is complete, run. Uh, let's run the installer. The installer will give uh, guide us through the install uh, installation process, and we will accept default settings for now. We also make sure. Uh, to add Python to PATH variable so that we can run Python from any directory. Okay, so I'm going to use install now option. So I'm also use added Python exe to path. Okay, so I'm going to use install now. So it take few minutes depending on your computer uh, internet speed. It takes time. My computer is very fast. Uh, so in my internet is also fast. So I don't think I have any issues other than have any kind of their uh, it's already downloaded right so this is computer so setup was successful new to Python start with the online tutorial and documentation determine by type py to launch Python or search Python in your start menu so I'm not going to do, do anything in here okay I'm going to click close now python is installed we're not going to open python in here we are uh, can see here so we have uh, all the python install files we're not going to use this one we're going to use the visual studio okay so next we will set up our development environment using visual studio code so if you uh, haven't installed it yet, you can download it from codevisualstudio.com. Once installed, let's open it up and create a new Python file. Okay. So I'm going to first show you how to install. So if you if you also can go to visualstudio.microsoft.com or you can go to code.visualstudio.com. Let me go for the code visual studio code. Come so okay. So in here code visual studio.com. So version 177 is now available to read about the new future fixes and from March. Okay, so I'm going with the stable version. Okay, so we use the stable version in Python for our development environment, and we are going to use the as stable for Windows Visual Studio code. You will see Visual Studio, Visual Studio for Mac, okay? And I'm go not going to use the Visual Studio. Remember that. We're going to use the Visual Studio code, okay? And you can use to download, you can see uh, Linux, Mac, and Windows. Visual Studio code, use, uh, you can use all the three uh, OS. And this is only for Mac, this version, and this Visual Studio only for Windows version. So now I'm also going straight to the Visual Studio code and I'm going to download from the stable version. So you can see this uh, graphic uh, display 
this is the visual studio code we're going to use and we're going to uh, use to code the cyber pi and if you click this drop down you will see for mac windows 64 bit and linux so you can from here you can use the stable version in here so i'm going to use i'm going to click from here do you download so it will uh, automatically detect the version and it will download from here so this file size is 85.9 mb okay now i'm going to click and i'm going to install so i got a prompt you can ask him license agreement i say accept this is free version okay so we don't need to pay for anything now uh, select additional select additional tasks you would like to set up to perform while installing Visual studio code then click next i'm going to use a create desktop icon and in here added open with code action to windows explorer file not going to use that add open with code action to windows explorer context no register code and editor yes the path request shall restart so i choose these two and this one click yes it says uh, additional tasks create desktop icon and the one we choose is the code and to the path and we click install okay it's now installing i mean once you install and if you have any issues because i already uh, installed some of the packages so probably i might not get any issues because I already installed to this machine since when I do the coding probably I'm not going to get that much of uh, errors or the packages I need to install but for you if you are installing the first time and if you follow my video and but still you have issues like some kind of issues maybe the packages or maybe that uh, we we need to allow some um, from the from your machine so please comment uh, down on this video i will do my best to address your issues and give you a solution for that okay right now we already install okay so everything install you don't see any issues but I already trust this but from your case if you're installing in the first place you will have restrict mode sometimes you will have restrict mode so you need to collect in a trusted window so then you can run our code for cyber PI code and the down you will say do you want to install recommended extension for Python I'm going to yes I'm going to say yes do you want to install yes please I'm going to installing the Python extension for the Visual Studio because we already installed the Python in here and now we're going to install the studio extension so we can run Python code inside the Visual Studio okay now in here you will see it's installed as you will say and to install and you can uninstall or install another version so I'm going to keep the default I'm going to touch it okay so as you can see our program has a, a program we're going to create uh, uh, we create a development environment with Visual Studio Code and Python and the next videos we're going to show you how to create our uh, first project Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.